You're a youngish man, Mr. Khan. And if you go slowly, there's no knowing. You may live till 70. But I must warn you. Your heart's in a pretty poor condition. You've had three attacks now, and you could easily have another. Any sudden exertion, any anxiety. Well, I wouldn't promise anything. Still at it. Aye, there's no end to it. They don't do as fast as I do it. They sound to be having a right set two across at the Mitchells. Well, yeah, there'll be a right set two over here if those three don't learn to pitch in and help a bit. Yeah, don't be always on that tongue, lid. It's all right for you. You just turn your back and walk away. You don't care who does it as long as it's not you. You're getting as sour as I don't know what lately. Lily. And you can wonder. Oh, those three are old enough to do their share. I used to help me, Mum, and they can help me. His mother-in-law's come over on the early bus. <laughs> I thought it was looking a bit black over Kingsport. Creeping <laughs> I hear in this, this hut. Nothing but filth and squalor. Two days before Christmas, nothing coming in but public assistance and her liable to start with that baby any minute. What sort of a place is this for her to have a child in? Jesus Christ was born in a stable. Don't you blaspheme with me. But this happens to be Nancy's home. And she happens to have a better home elsewhere where she can be looked after properly. Do you want her found dead in a ditch like that, Holly woman? Even a fan to be dragged up any old car by a shiftless husband. Nancy hasn't got a shiftless husband. Oh, but she's much proud of though. Look, I've swallowed my pride when I went in for that public assistance board and begged. Didn't even let you walk in here and 
and call the tune after that. Oh, you think you can prey on her loyalty, don't I you? I think that I can expect her loyalty. The marriage service says for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse. It also says in sickness and in health. What about your marriage vows when she's sweating in pain and screaming? Oh, for heaven's sake, will you shut up, both of you? Nancy, oh, come on home. Pack your things, bring little pets, no, come just, home. Just, just look at the state you've got her in. There are bitterer tears than that. Those are the ones I'm worried about. Do you mind going outside? Outside? What for? So I can talk to her alone. Oh, no, you'll only talk her around. Come on, now. Oh, going home. I asked you to go outside. Now, what do you do as I ask? But I have to put you out. Oh, you wouldn't dare talk to me like that if her father were here. Well, it's not here, is it? Oh, mother, please, will you just do what Fred says just for a minute? Oh. Well, if you think you'll be all right. Oh, all right, of course you'll be all right. Do you think I'm going to kick her about the house as soon as your back's turned? Now, do you mind going outside and don't come back in until I tell you? Here, are, wait a minute. You might need that. I shouldn't want you to catch cold. <laughs> he, he's choked her out. He's mother in law. I yeah, didn't think he had it in him. What are they about? Yeah, lass, what the fellas usually around with their mothers-in-law about? How you can bring to mind? Mm. Yeah, that's Bonnie. Right, so we've got two days and then come back with some evergreens. What are we going to get them for Christmas? Yeah, I don't rightly know, Lee. Well, they ought to have a bit of summit, the littlest especially. They've been on at me for ages about Father Christmas. Father Christmas only comes to them as can afford it, Lily. I know that, but they don't, do they? Well, maybe I'll find some bits and pieces when I go into Kiplington. Are you not helping Mr. Soden build his garage anymore, Lee? No. He doesn't like all that banging in the yard since he found out what's wrong with his wife. Pity about her, Lee. At least your mum didn't suffer like that. There'll be no extra money, then. Oh, no. Probably not. Oh, well, if our Bert's stopping up by old Cox over Christmas, that'll be one less to feed. Hey, he's talking about getting lodgings in Kippelinton in the new year. What, leaving home, you mean? But how will we manage without his wage? Hey, he seems to think Tadman will be giving him a rise. And if he gets that, all they'll do is knock it off my benefit. But that's not fair. It means we can't be better off whatever we do. That's about the size of it, Lid. Once folk like us get down, it seems there's just no way back up. 